Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss the inferior tibiofibular joint. This is also named as the distal tibiofibular joint as the name indicates that is it is in between the inferior ends or the distal ends of the tibia and fibula. The articulation is between the fibular notch at the lower end of the tibia and the lower end of the fibula. The opposed bony surfaces are roughened. The distal tibiofibular joint is a fibrous joint. See here, this is the distal tibiofibular joint. It is a fibrous type of joint. There is no capsule in at the distal tibiofibular joint. Now we will discuss the ligaments of the inferior tibiofibular joint or the distal tibiofibular joint. There is introsious ligament which is very strong and thick band of the fibrous tissue that binds the two bones together. This is introsious ligament. This is very strong and it is in between the tibia and the fibula. Then there is interosseous membrane which connects the shafts of the tibia and the fibula which also strengthens the joint. Now there is anterior and the posterior ligaments of the inferior tibiofibular joint. First of all the anterior ligament see here this is they have shown the cut ends of the anterior tibiofibular ligament and there is posterior tibiofibular ligament. They are flat bands of the fibrous tissue which are connecting the two bones together in front and behind the introsseous ligament because the introsseous ligament will be in between the anterior and the posterior ligament. Then there is inferior transverse ligament. Remember this thing, this inferior transverse ligament was also forming a socket for the ankle joint. So this is the inferior transverse ligament which runs from the medial surface of the upper part of the lateral malleolus. See here, this is lateral malleolus. So the inferior transverse joint will pass from the lateral malleolus to the posterior border of the lower end of the tibia. Nerve supply and the movement of the inferior tibiofibular joint. The deep fibular nerve which is also called as the deep peroneal nerve which is the branch of the common peroneal and the tibial nerve. They supply the joint. A small amount of movement take place during the movements at the ankle joint because this is a fibrous type of joint so a very little movement is there at the distal tibiofibular joint.